I kind of got to see it, right? How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac, and thank you for joining me on this Orphan Black Reaction. Today, we are continuing off with our favorite show about a bunch of clones. This one is Season 4, Episode 2, Transgressive Border Crossings. Real quick before I get into anything, I just want to show you this tweet real quick I just got. Because I, I tweeted out that uh, today's the day I'm going to start Orphan Black. And uh, Havoc, Havoc sent me this tweet. And uh, it's fucking awesome. So I had to show you guys. Check out, check out this gif. I love it. Sarah. Seema. <laughs> and then there's Allison. She doesn't want to drop the mic because it'll probably break. God damn it. That's that's so Allison. I, and I love Tatiana for actually like making that character choice and like sh she wouldn't drop the mic, you know? She would set it on the ground just like she did. I love it. Thanks for sending me that. Uh, that's, that's my favorite gift now. <laughs> so yeah, I just had to share that with you guys real quick. Anyway, guys, last time as we came back to Season 4, uh, we got, like, a, a prequel of sorts, like a, a flashback episode of, of Beth. Uh, she was basically working with this this new clone, well, a new old clone named Mika, or MK, and uh, they were investigating Neil Lucian, and Beth found out a little bit too much, and when she was running away, she got spooked, and that's how she killed Maggie Chen. And uh, we just got a lot more of like her and Art's relationship and how she felt about everything. And you could definitely see her sanity kind of spiraling, especially after she killed Margaret. You know, that's when she started to really lose touch with herself. So I really liked how we got that backstory on these characters and also how it went back into the present day. Just like, because I thought she was calling Beth or something, but you know, it was Sarah. And then you saw Kira in the bed and she just gave her the warning run. Run. I don't know who's running after her. Maybe it's those people, that couple that was burying the body in the beginning. Maybe it's those people, which I think is Neil Lucian, or they might be working for that uh, that one Asian girl that was with Dr. Leakey. I can't remember her name. I don't even know if we got the name. But they seemed like they were colleagues. Like they weren't, one wasn't underneath the other as far as like power dynamics. So I don't know. Maybe it's like a new tertiary organization or something i don't know so anyway guys if you like my reaction please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out which is usually every monday wednesday and friday and i also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever and if you guys want to support the channel financially the patreon and everything else is down below and with the patreon you're going to get access to my movie nights and these reactions a week or weeks before the youtube audience so if that interests you at all go ahead and head over to my patreon and uh, check that out uh, so anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this episode of Orphan Black. This one is Season 4, Episode 2, Transgressive Border Crossing. Let's do it. Sarah had a call. They said we've been compromised. Who is MK? She said she knew Beth. What about Daddy? He's out of the country still. He's still in Westeros. <laughs> Could be the Neos trying to flush us out. This is my angels. Know what to do. If they can't find anything... They won't. <laughs> Damn. Mrs. Zess is like, why do I always gotta keep burning down my houses? <laughs> Kira said that for a long time, hasn't she? This is really loud right now. <laughs> Let's go! I always want like do 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 but it kinda like mutes, you know? Oh God's no parents. All right, let's do. <laughs> Felix always gotta have his ass out, doesn't he? <laughs> Ball change, work it out. Yeah, it. Roll. Yes! <laughs> that was definitely a house mom roll right there. Holy dino! What's going on, Kasima? Hell yeah! Is she hot boxing her grow room or grow tent? No, why I never did that. Scott. <laughs> She's growing with Scott. <laughs> Wrong. We're here. It's good. Two houses up in flames inside three months. Christ, I need a fag. <laughs> That's a cigarette for the American audience. Don't cancel Siobhan's mom. <laughs> I don't need a check. You're having one anyway. Are we going to meet Cal at the same time? We're not going to see him for a while. I doubt Cal's going to come back to the show. Maybe like the episode or fifth season sometime, but. Monkey. 
I mean, it's kind of fucked up that she introduced her to her father and the father just kind of left, but imagine the abandonment that Kira has to feel, you know? Her father left, and then her mother left before, and... By the smell of it, I mean, no one's stumbling in here by accident. Like a board game store? Yeah, That's you badass. Here. Call me Hell Wizard. Lovely. <laughs> I think you might want to check out what we have downstairs. <laughs> How long have they been apart? Hey, welcome in the rabbit hole. I'm glad that Scott stuck around helping Cosima too. I mean, he's he's entrenched in it now, isn't he? Secret lab under a comic book shop. What more could a girl want, right? <laughs> I'm good, seriously. She looks healthy, at least. Welcome home, Sestra. Speaking of Sestra, where's uh, where's Helena at? How did this MK know they were coming for you? That's the question, isn't it? Beth never mentioned anybody called MK. She didn't share every little thing. She protected us from a clone in a mask. Oh, it just said she wore a sheep mask. <laughs> Dolly the sheep. <laughs> I not find that even remotely amusing. It's pretty funny, Allison. The Hendrixes ponied up the cash. Some of the gear magically migrated from the diet. So who's running the experiment now? I guess we are. She looks weaker. With Kendall's genome, we've been able to isolate the synthetic sequences. Any word on Delphine? Still nothing. Someone's gotta have Delphine. Maybe Rachel? Take it away now. Just don't tell her they're back. Let Helena know, come on. She's gonna be pissed when she finds out if you don't tell her. You know that. Have we thought of next steps? Yeah. Is that her schedule? Jesus. Our accent sounded Scandinavian to me. I know you've got something else. It's the last case Beth and I caught. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna see the split dick. Just... D don't you? Doesn't everybody? Is it like two separate tubes or is it like like a, a flat tube down the middle? I don't know. It just I kind of got to see it, right? <laughs> Any illusion then? I have no frame of who what Beth was up to. If you want to find out. That's fine. Did she ever return that surveillance equipment that she had? I'm really liking Sarah's look this season. She has like that bang thing going and like the midriff. I approve. You all right with it? No. That's where we're at. <laughs> Shit, talking mushrooms, Felix. What are you doing downtown? <laughs> He's showing a lot of ass. Is that a penis? It's <laughs> called a phallus, darling. <laughs> that, that penis is really coming along. <laughs> Why didn't you go meet them? Because I'm in the zone. You have to tell them what you've been up to. I will, when the time's right. What's he been up Explain to? It. They'll be supportive. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> is he going to tell them all that he's gay? Ooh. <laughs> I bet they don't know that. <laughs> City Marathon. She ran a few times. No way I'd run 26 miles unless someone were chasing me. <laughs> Even then I'd give up and die, I'm just saying. <laughs> she probably kept investigating after she was suspended. That's what made her a good cop. I mean, a picture of Beth and Paul is the same thing as a picture of you and Paul, right? I wasn't expecting company. Here? On duty. Is this any good? It all smells like bullshit to me. Now you're off the case. Do you keep digging and digging and digging? What do you think is going to happen if you uh, keep picking at this scab? Oh, she's recording this, isn't she? We've crossed the line, you and me. There's really no going back. Because I have to keep everyone that I care about safe. And you want that, too. Why did he take his glasses off just to put them back on? Because, you know, it's, uh, it's a really weird thing that people do to make a point. Isn't it? I guess that does, it does work, right? Because it really makes you focus on what is about to be said. I might have to use that in my real life day-to-day -day life. That was dumb. <laughs> hey! There's Elena. Oh, she's still pregnant, right? So how far along is she? Oh, she's got a bump. She's got a little belly. You are playing my wife. Mrs. Hendricks? You know what? I've got that. So what, maybe like three or four months? She's changed her hair. Because it was too ugly. <laughs> well, it looks nice. <laughs> How have you been feeling? A little tired and many farts. <laughs> Me, her husband, um, we have sex because she's my wife. <laughs> Sounds like she's like Donnie's beard or something. Oh yeah, she's my female wife and we have sex all the time. It's nice to take your blood again, Kendall. Thought my DNA was supposed to make it better. It takes time uh, to develop a therapy. Could you take another stem cell treatment from Kira? I can't start a new gene therapy trial. What about stem cell spinal fluid from her? Is she sick? Oh, shit. Oh, that's right, because he was asking Sarah about that equipment in, like, season one, right? If I remember right. Jesus, 
That's just on the screen. I'm watching the show, guys. That's that's all this is. You found something? Something I don't think anybody's supposed to see. Paul spying on her. Actually, I think Beth is spying on Paul. Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah, here we go. It's still been powered, so she got all of that shit. Hell yeah. Well, really, see my baby? Is there gonna be more than one? This looks like mush. <laughs> this looks like mush. Okay, that's strange. What? Strange? What is strange? I didn't see it before. I found twins. It. The other one. Congratulations. You're having twins. <laughs> yes. Identical twins. Can you know that at this stage, though? Like, they could still be fraternal, right? Or is, is it, like, different amniotic sex? I'm not sure how that works, but... They're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Elena. She's so fucking happy. I That fills me with so much joy. Uh, she has gone through so much. <laughs> and she's always wanted a family. And now she actually... Oh, yeah, she's seeing that. But now that she actually has that moment where she has her family now, but now she's created her own family, her own set of twins, just like her sister. Who's this pregnant girl? Wait, 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 stop. That was the girl from the club. She's near Lucian too. And he's with one of his followers. You need to tell me what you find out. Where the hell are you going? Back to the beginning of all this shit. Whoa, what is the beginning? Going to Neo Lucian or... God damn it, Sarah. If I just got in and up to speed. Let's go grab a drink and I will catch you up. Can I just get a bit of space? Thanks. What is wrong with Felix? Like, he doesn't... Am I forgetting something from last season? Because, like, it seems like he just doesn't want to be a part of that. I guess maybe if you get out, you don't really want to be dragged back in, but... And you can't exactly walk through the door with that face again. Meet me around back then. I'm getting you in, but I'm not paying the bloody cover, am I? <laughs> no, you're worth Felix. <laughs> Can I get a drink? Thank you. <laughs> Same placenta. That's how they know they're identical. Oh, well, I guess you learn something every day. It's twice the work. And doubly awesome. Elena we're talking about here. She's murdered people. So have we. Elena's trained to kill people. We're manslaughterers. I wonder if the Lita clones that can give birth can only give twin birth. Wow. Was that even English? Holy shit. <laughs> I couldn't get that thought out. I'm sorry. She just wants to be like you. I'm overjoyed for her. There is a little resentment, Could you I think. Just make but... sure that Fertile Myrtle hasn't eaten. <laughs> Fertile Myrtle. <laughs> well, your tail would be wagging, so to speak. Don't mind me, please. Let's just ask around. Kind of looks like Storm right there, right? From like uh, X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> still on, like, a pack a day. I used to smoke a pack a day like 12, 15 years ago now. Switch to weed and vape and you stop smoking cigarettes. It doesn't look great. We have a little crop right there. Same. Does it help with the appetite? Yeah. You want to talk about chicken? Please don't call me chicken. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to tell me that Delphine is alive. She's I alive. can't do that though. We're going to find out at the very tail end of this episode. I just miss her so much. She's not having a good time right now, but I think she's alive. Those are my test results. It could be nothing, or it could be an indicator. It's leukemia. I was diagnosed months ago. Siobhan doesn't know. And you're not gonna tell her neither. Can her blood even be used then? All you get when everyone knows you're dying is a pity party. You gotta say something. That could, you know, skew the therapy that you're trying to develop. You know, that's... I don't know. That's not good. <laughs> when is leukemia ever good? It's never good, but... This would go a lot faster if you helped. I was getting drinks. What's the problem? Oh, okay. Yeah, there is something. Because you're being a bitch. <laughs> I've been looking for my birth family. Me, S, Kira, that's your family. No, that's your family. You're related to bloody everyone, including our foster mum. Go figure that. <laughs> you belong with us, babe. No. I get that he wants to know his family because now he feels alone, you know? Does he know that? Message. Oh, come on. We want to see it that bad. Or does he think that she's Mika, possibly? Is Mika there? Is MK there? Lifted this from an offshore server. Shot in Bogota two weeks ago. Oh, no, no, no! I've heard rumors of plant attack, but it's organic. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a fed smoker moment. I'm not going to cut away to that, by the way. Oh! What the fuck? Yeah, Did it like built-in defense mechanism kills the host? It like spread all over his face. What's going on? Okay. Who are you? 
What did he grab though? Her, her phone? She grabbed his phone. Shit. Good job, Sarah. Felix, talk about everything later. Right now, I'm gonna try and meet MK. Oh, I thought this was Beth for a second. That was Beth. Okay. Beth, what the hell are you doing? She wasn't wearing a blonde wig when she stepped in front of the train, so I'm not sure if she was doing something before she stepped in front of the train and that's what she was leaving too. I don't know. Okay. Dude, give him a quarter, man. Thanks a lot. Probably more like 75 cents these days. Would you rather phone in a dryer close the door? It will cut the signal. I don't think a dryer is a Faraday cage. Boots on the counter side by side. Three minutes. How did you know that they were coming after us in Iceland? I cast a net deep. And there it was, your name. I knew they'd found you. We need to know what we're up against, MK. I can't talk to you anymore. It will kill you like it killed Beth. All right, so she came back, so she, that wasn't before she jumped. But that looks familiar, like that outfit. So she did something. Oh, she killed someone else. Please, no, I, I, I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> Who else would it be? It looks exactly like you, Beth. It's been four days, why didn't you answer? You're bleeding, it's not mine. Beth, where have you been? What did she do? Please open up, talk to me. She's gonna allow herself to feel. How did you go dark? You haven't called the others either. It's over, we're done. I screwed it up. We need to drop all this. Stay hidden. Please don't leave me. Oh, we know where she's going. I need to. Watch the others part. Does she know what she's about to do? Does Beth know what she's about to do? I don't know if she knew before she did it. That was the night she killed herself. She was my friend. She called me Nika. Why'd she jump? She wouldn't tell me. Is it something to do with those implant things? The maggot bots, yes. Maggot bots? What are they for? No, no, no. Beth said to hide. Hiding doesn't work, Nika. So they're robots, then they are bots. Oh shit, you're in. <laughs> hey, Go, uh, don't. Nika, wait! Nika! And say, don't forget your phone. That's why she had her take off the boots, though, so she couldn't run after her. Mika's smart. Uh, shit. Did you get your phone? Please tell me you got your phone. Get off! Mika, ah! come on. Come on. We've been looking for you a long time. What do you want? Don't put that in her fucking cheek. Oh my god. Come it's on, not, Mika. It's not her. What's your name? Piss off. Bite me. I will snap your neck. I just need to check something. Checking for a maggot bot. Sarah Manning views. Wait, how did he know that she was Sarah by feeling? Does she have like some indicator? Is that like where identification is? It was a bathroom. When Diane had me, did they do something to me? What's wrong? No, they had you too. Kira, open your mouth. Yeah, Why you're hurting me. Sarah! I think there's something inside me. I need a torch. Please tell me she doesn't have one of those inside of her. There's something in my jaw. Let's have a look. No, 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 mother fuck! God damn! That is nasty. I don't, I don't like the maggot bots that, does Kira have one of those? All right, everybody, that was Orphan Black, season four, episode two, Transgressive Border Crossing. No, no, that's not okay. God damn it. Um, Two things I don't like. I don't like eye shit and I don't like bugs. And having a bug inside of your skin, that's that's up there with eye shit to me. So that's that's not good. I'm guessing, based on uh, MK, since she's knowledgeable about all this stuff, I'm guessing they're mostly robotic. Um, maybe like a biological robot or something. But we saw when they were trying to take it out without like the proper procedure. It like shot tendrils out of the face and like killed the host. So it's it's essentially like uh like the Suicide Squad, you know, like how they had the bomb implanted in their neck. This is literally like a, a biological explosive in their body. Um, I, I I hope it's not in Kira either, because that would 
That'd be awful. And is it in all the rest of the clones too? Like, when did they implant them? Has it always been there? Or was it when they made peace with the top side, the illusion, all that? Was it was it during that time? I, I don't know. <laughs> that was really messed up. Yeah, that was just an exciting episode. This felt... Like, the first episode felt very different from the rest of the series just because it was, like, a prequel and we were just kind of, like, thrown into it. This one, it kind of feels like we're back on the tracks, even though it is a wild ride again and we're, like, flailing around. It is back on the tracks and it kind of feels, like, back into the formula of things, you know? Again, the show's opening wide up and it's just more and more stuff is coming and I can't wait to learn more about these, uh, these maggot bots and stuff. And it's interesting that they, they let Sarah go... And she thinks that those EMTs were the Neos, but I don't think they work for the Neolutionists. I think they're going to be from either Topside or from some third, you know, other mystery company that we don't know about. Like that like that one woman, I don't know her name, but I think that's like a third company or organization or something. So anyway, guys, what did you think about this and that, that maggot in the cheek thing? I don't... <laughs> I don't like it, but you guys gotta let me know about it in the comment box down below. And if you like my reaction, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, you're going to get access to my movie nights and these reactions as I kind of figure it out like week or weeks before the YouTube audience and um, everything else is basically just just like a tip system so yeah thank you very much for watching you know i appreciate and love every single one of you and remember if you're gonna go outside wear a mask don't be an ass and i will see you all next week with some more orphan black take it easy guys tired and many farts